fine. But you can't ask for like a speedboat or a jet ski or a teleportation device. (laughs) Hey everyone, I'm Anne. I'm Tracy. And this is Beyond the Plot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Beyond the Plot. This is episode 7. We're going to be talking about something that happened recently. Um, So, I think, Tracy, take it away. So, on the 27th, at around like 1.45 in the morning, I heard this like car outside. Initially, I thought that it was like like a car alarm, because it kind of went like beep, 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 beep. But then it kind of went on a little too long. Mm Mm-hmm. That it made me kind of like think, like, wait, like, that's not a, it can't be a car alarm. It was way too long. Was it coming from the road? Like, I think it was coming from around, like, yeah, yeah, where my, where my gate is. Like, Uh so across that, I think that's where it was coming from. And so I looked out. I didn't like see anything happening. All I saw was like two like guys like running towards my direction or kind of. Anyway, I thought nothing of it, but then I also kind of got like a weird feeling. So I was kind of like, okay, just like I sat back down and and then my aunt calls me and she's like, hey, Trace, I just want to let you know that there's a huge fire behind our building. And so when I heard that, I went up and this I don't is know the one you, you sent me, right? Yeah, I, I think so. But it was also the same one that I posted on my story. Like, yeah, I did after see it happened. One. Yeah, the first one, I think, where I'm looking out through the dining room window and it's just like bright orange. Mm-hmm. There's just like a little flame. And that's like the the fourth floor so i was like oh shit like that is high up that is fucking high and then so like i walked to my aunt and i was kind of like what do we do like what, what should we do like should we should we do something should we like i was like panicking okay like in situations like this i'm always like holy fucking shit like i don't fucking know what to do i'm panicking my brain's like bah, 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 bah. yeah and then at this moment my aunt was just like nothing she didn't say anything she was super calm she said later on that she was like in denial that like anything bad was happening or like that we might have to like evacuate the building so she didn't say anything Mm -hmm. but by that point i was already like so stressed out that i went back to my room i started packing a bag and i thought like okay like if bad stuff really happens like if it reaches the house and my entire house is gone and i don't know what to do and what if you know like the, the worst situation that I'd have to sell like everything on my person. So then I looked in my closet, I thought it through and I was like, all right, there's no fucking way I can put shoes, heels in my bag. So then I started shoving my like smaller like Prada and my YSL in like a, in a big like Louis Vuitton tote because I thought, okay, this is like smaller mm-hmm. and then it can it can help me after if like, you know, if I lose everything. Like you can sell it. Yeah. Dude, I, yeah, I was this close to packing my mic in too. I was like, I can only save one. I'm going to put my mic in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it will make you some money. So I mean, if I lost like everything, right? I was like, all right, let me yeah, just put sure. all this shit. I put like a hoodie in my bag. I had like a, a power bank. Barrow, it was low bath. So useless. I had some alcohol. I was even thinking like, should I bring some moisturizer? And I was like, okay, useless. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the things your brain goes through, huh? Yeah. Like when you're in that situation. <laughs> What the heck? I brought like a bunch of underwear and I completely forgot to bring like a shirt and like shorts. So, so you're just going to change underwear wear the same annoying. shirt. After all that, the guard called my aunt and said that fire fighters outside and they're saying that we really have to like leave the like evacuate because the fire was getting really bad and it had already like spread to the warehouse. But then I had to make sure that my Hong Kong, my grandpa also got out because my grandpa's old. He's going to be 99 in like a couple of days, actually. It was yeah. crazy. Wow. Was what wild. a way to, you know, pre-birthday, right? Mm-hmm. Holy crap. But um, so yeah, he's in a wheelchair too. So I, d- I thought like at that point, if nobody comes up to help us, the only people who could like possibly carry my grandpa down the flight of stairs is like me and the nurse because there's no fucking way that anybody else can do it. Mm-hmm. So I ran up like my body hurt because I was playing squash and so i was kind of in pain but then i was like i was just like on i don't know like a different mode and i was panicking and i was adrenaline for sure fucking running up the stairs i was like i was flying up those flight of stairs like usain bolt (laughs) who like yo tracy garcia (laughs) like five steps at a time yeah that's that's pretty insane but flying like i was like i was i've been practicing for this like ever since i was a kid you know (laughs) 
Yeah. <laughs> like skipping steps. I always do that, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, this is, this is my time to shine. But then my grandpa kind of took a little too long. He had to use the bathroom and all that. And at that point, the first responders were like already in. They were banging on our walls and like, you have to go out, like evacuate, evacuate. And like my aunt was like, I can't go down because if I, I know that if I go down, then they're not going to let me go back up. And I got to make sure that like Papa is like down. Yeah. Like my, my grandpa is down. Then, yeah, eventually we all made it downstairs. It was um, it was like 2 a.m. And at that point, we were already like on the road, like outside my gate. And I looked back and I could see like, just like this bright, like glowing, like orange, orange. I can, <laughs> can you say, say orange? Or orange? Orange? Orangi? Because you said it twice, so it made me think, like, did she say it wrong the first time? I don't want to say orange. 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 It's starting to lose its meaning. All right. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, like, when they opened the steel gate to the warehouse in the back, it was just, like, the fire was, like, already there at, like, that point. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, um, that was my mom's warehouse for, like, her business. And everything that was in there was, like, or not everything in there, but there were so many items in there that were, that were like, really flammable. Styrofoam, cardboard, like, boxes. Because my mom owns, like, a store that sells things for, like, baking goods and stuff like that we yeah. lost a bunch of like kitchen aids ovens and um yeah so my mom was um pretty devastated right I mean, i'm sure she would have yeah. felt that way and so we were really hoping that it wouldn't take everything from that warehouse but I mean, eventually it did and yeah that was fucking terrifying at one point i saw the um fire just like on like the roof and it was huge like if this was like the firefighter the fire was like twice as tall as he was and our roof was like angled right mm -hmm. maybe like at a 30 degree and he had like the hose and he was just like trying to flood the fire with the hose but then he was also like getting pushed back down into that like angle you know of the roof yeah and it was just like wow like what a fucking scene it was kind of crazy and we thought that it'd be over like quick long but then it's just like it went on for the next like six seven hours eventually at like 8 45 we were like okay to like go back into where our house was so it's like the warehouse and the house is like it's on the same property but it's kind of like quite a walk away. So it's like, you can see it, but thankfully it didn't like reach the actual house. And then we were all safe. Yeah. This whole experience or the situation, you know, like I need to have like some kind of go bag, something, you know, whether it be a duffel, a backpack that has just like things that I could need if this ever were to happen again, because yeah. I know that, yeah, we we're all safe. But then also the fact that I think it was so close and I'd never seen fire like that before, that big and that orange, it was yeah it was fucking terrifying and then so yeah like my my search like my online shopping search my like google search just like go bags like runaway like whatever bags like rope like <laughs> didn't you say compass yeah compass like who knows i don't know what's gonna happen the doomsday you know? bag yeah like a, a crank flashlight or a solar powered one yeah because i was like there's no way i'm gonna be charging it like all the time right i guess it's a good kind of Thing to be prepared for also because i mean you kind of live in um it's very i'm not congested but then it's like there's a lot of things around you a lot of fires actually happen behind our house too really yeah like in that yeah. area yeah 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 oh because like the houses in that area they're all like very close to each other and they're made of light materials yeah so so they catch very fire. combustible yeah pretty quick do you know how the fire started the fire started behind my house and apparently it started from the second floor of a house and then it just spread and i think they had built very close to our firewall mm -hmm. and they were a three-story house which i think made it easier also to climb our firewall and i think our firewall needed to be fixed also yeah from you know i guess protecting from all those fires from before too yeah it's damaged for sure from the past yeah. it was just yeah easy for the fire to climb over your firewall then other than that another factor the wind uh. at that time the wind blew towards us firewall was a little mm. three-story house and then it just went the wind yeah blowing wind. in your direction yeah. i did not know that part actually the wind yeah i didn't oh. know I, I didn't tell you that part yeah you didn't tell me that man what a fucking disaster of a situation but then i'm just glad that your whole family's safe your yeah. grandfather is safe along with all your other relatives 
and everybody in the house and your dogs too yeah oh my god but we forgot about my turtles oh my god right i felt so bad like we were like oh we forgot about the turtles. They had no idea what was going no, on. No, they were like, dude, we they shut off the lights, right? So the turtles were just there in darkness, like, oh, I guess it's night nighttime now. Or <laughs> oh, oh, I guess it was nighttime. It was so nighttime, yeah. They probably had no idea what was happening. Poor turtles. Yeah. Oh my it's, gosh. It's a good thing that you guys were able so to go bad. back and like reassure your turtles like we're still here. Yeah, dude. We did not Holy. abandon you. Poor guys, but yeah. I would have felt fine. so bad. It's like if something happened and my turtles were in here, I would have been like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Like you are, you are just trash, Tracy. Like, whoa, oh my gosh. I mean, I would have felt super bad also because if you asked me and, um, if I could save something from a fire, it would be my pets for sure. Like my number one thing would be my pets. We forgot because of like the dogs. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You have fine. three dogs. That's okay. But it's because not they're an fine. excuse. It's yeah. not an excuse, you know. Oh, you know what? Speaking of animals, so in the burnt warehouse, the next day we saw a mom cat, like going up the rubble and the. Oh my god. Just like crying and like she even kind of looked like she was like, "Yo, like please help me, like you know, please help me find like she my would babies." Look at you guys yeah, and she's like going near us, like you know, like please, you know, and she's like calling out to them. One of my mom's employees had oh said too God. that just recently she had like given birth. So these kittens were like r small, but you know, they were like tiny. And then, which is probably why she kept yeah. them in there, right? Like where she doesn't show them to people yet. Yeah. You know what like I mean? She kind of hides yeah. them somewhere in a dark place. Yeah. So I was like, oh no. And my mom was saying like, they're probably <clears throat> gone already. And I was just like, no, like I really, I don't want to believe that they're gone. One point I was even like, yo, everyone like stop talking. Cause I really you wanted to, trying to listen. try to see if I could hear yeah. like the kittens, you yeah. know? Most people I think were like, it's, it's gone. Cause the entire warehouse, the steel racks melted. The roof caved in. Almost all the stock looked like it just vanished. Mm -hmm. Like aluminum pans are like on the floor now completely melted. Like this warehouse was so full. And after the fire, it was just like, it went to like dust. All you could see were like the steel racks, mm -hmm. which is like wild to me. Holy crap. It's just completely it took, like gone. It really took everything. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think, right? The kittens would have survived. Yeah. But after like an hour, my mom came up and she was like, Trace, I had to tell you like she found like her kitten. And it was like so ashy already and covered in like just dust or whatever and i was like oh my god like like wow like that is that's actually like a f miracle it is know? a miracle like, like where did this kitten hide and then to make it even crazier shortly after she found her second kitten so she found both of them my i feel so much lighter knowing that right they were saved right or that they saved themselves mm -hmm. i guess yeah where would the mom have been and maybe she left to like go somewhere gather some i don't know did they gather things i'm sure she was panicking or, though when she couldn't like find a way in anymore because we closed that warehouse yeah. at night yeah oh my god poor poor mom cat but yeah. then i'm so glad that she found her kittens R right I can't imagine what she was feeling. Even when the next day, when she was like looking at you guys and basically yeah. saying with her eyes, like, can you help me find my kittens? Like, like, I don't know where they are. Like, oh my God, can you imagine? I was just like so relieved that the kittens like found their like mom, th that the cat found her babies. Mm -hmm. That was the most like, oh my God. Cause if you look at the warehouse, there's no, there's no way. There's no way you would think that anything would have survived. I saw the video that I think you sent, or I think yeah. you had it in your story, of the warehouse in the morning. I sent that to you, yeah. Yeah, it was so empty. Mm -hmm. Black, just darkness and like... Dripping with water. Yeah, and like the roof was... Um, yeah, it caved in. So like you could see the light from the sky coming into the warehouse. Insane. Because every time I look in that warehouse, it's just... It, it's so full, like you yeah. said. It's super full. And I think before, were there cars in there? Yeah. Were there cars in there when it burned? The like personal vehicles like got yeah, out. Got out. Yeah. yeah. Some delivery like I think like three of them burnt. Barrel one was a little like broken. broken. Oh, yeah. But still, and the two yeah. yeah. Still like that's that's fucking rough, dude. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. But like, <laughs> yeah, damn. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm just ha like going through the motions also because like, this is the first time we're talking about it in person because this is the first time I've seen you since it's happened. Right. It's like, I was reacting like this also when you were telling me in the morning when I woke up because I woke up early too and then you were mm -hmm. still out. Yeah. And I was awake and you were telling me what was happening and stuff like that. And I was like really shaken up, you know. 
Oh yeah, dude, I was I was shaking. Yeah, <laughs> I was shaking up also. But I mean, like not of course, obviously not as much yeah. as you, but like I was. Oh, it's like I couldn't believe it was happening. Dude, I could, we couldn't believe it was happening. Honestly, it's crazy. Let's say that happened to you. What is the first thing that you would do in a situation like that? I would like to believe mm-hmm. that I'm calm, but then I can't be so sure because. Well, naturally, I'm a very quiet person. So I think maybe I'd internally think of what to do next, but Mm -hmm. then very gonna, like, you know, in a very panicky way, but then inside. I'd probably go check on my family first and foremost. Like, I'd just be like, okay, where are we going? What do we do? What do we get? And yeah, stuff like that. I would probably, like, grab my shit. Yeah. My dogs, first of all. And then probably, like, some photos, documents. Yeah. Laptop. Sure. Yeah, stuff like that. Some cash cash too yeah very important thing and like maybe a couple sets of clothing yeah yeah don't just bring underwear guys <laughs> yeah. that's that's more than underwear <laughs> i bought sports bras and underwear like i mean <laughs> comfortable and hoodie. comfortable i guess but you can't just walk around in your underwear so yeah i would get that i think i just don't know it, if it does happen like who knows what i'm gonna do i mean that kind of sounds like the way i reacted also and that's yeah pretty much yeah but then again, at least you had some time to think and do that. Some people don't, which is like so unfortunate. Some people just, you know, wake up and it's already there. Mm, or it's like yeah. super close. You have no time to gather anything. Yeah, that's that's a thing that I'm actually really grateful for is that I was also still awake. And it was pretty far from the house. Yeah. And the first responders really like they yelled they banged on the walls to really make sure like hey like you guys need to leave Mm -hmm. and actually like it wasn't close yet but uh, you don't want no way for it to be close exactly yeah you want to like do it before as soon as you can just get out yeah it was dude such a trip honestly like wow i i I can't even believe sometimes like it actually happened i'm sure there's still like some leftover emotions that you and everybody who experienced it feel like after the fire like you still have these like um things that you do like maybe you listen more to like what's going on outside just to make sure you know because i think i remember you telling me that the next day at night too that or not at night in the afternoon i think the fire was still igniting or at night at night yeah it was at night right yeah i think it's around like 10 p.m yeah so it's traumatizing and you hear another fire truck coming and it's the day after it's like what almost 24 hours since that was already the night of yeah and like none of us had really gotten sleep yeah so i can't imagine the feeling of having to hear another fire truck come thinking that it was already over but then it's actually not so we actually knew that there was like a little bit of fire again because the guards had said that there was smoke coming mm-hmm. from the little part of the warehouse. The roof caved in more, so it was harder. Like it, it was almost like a crawl space mm-hmm. of sorts, you know? So then it's hard for people to hose it down. Yeah. So then at that point, I think the fire was kind of like starting a little bit again. There was a little smoke coming out. My mom called the, the firefighters again. And then that was when you said that you heard fire yeah, trucks also. from my house, yeah. I think. Like maybe 20 minutes before you said that yeah my mom called them again yeah. because it was starting up again i was like no way i think i heard some coming from my area going mm-hmm. to your area so crazy yeah i i didn't i really didn't want to sleep that night mm-hmm. like i was i was so tired and i think you were like you were even telling me right like you should like rest get some stuff. rest yeah. yeah and like my other friends were like also saying like yo you really should sleep like you've been up for so long and i was just like no like I was like telling him like i'm i'm scared i'm yeah. i don't really want to go to sleep like i want to be like awake so like you know because just in case yeah and i'm usually the person in my house who's pretty much awake at night just because i'm usually awake at night mm-hmm. so then i felt like if i'm not awake then i mean who's, they're probably not gonna, gonna be awake, right but then so yeah eventually i did knock out because I was just so tired and I think that my brain wasn't working anymore and I had tried to edit like the last episode Mm -hmm. but then that didn't work out because dude your brain was just exhausted yeah my brain was just like yeah I mean understandable if you're awake for that long your brain just isn't functioning well anymore because you're sleep deprived yeah so since we're talking about or since we talked about what happened this week and um being more prepared so on preparedness Mm. if ever you were to be stranded on an island what were what are the things that you would bring like let's let's say like three things oh so i had the option i knew in advance that i was gonna get stranded on an island um i guess so (laughs) 
right? Um, isn't, isn't that how people ask the question? I guess, but I've always wondered why they ask like that. Yeah, right? Like, Cause, do I know? Or is it... Because like, if you wouldn't, if you just... If you're on a ship, like you're on a cruise, yeah. and something happens, and then you're on a raft, and like you have to like, oh, swim to an island. Okay, in that situation. Oh, okay. What would I ha- have on me? Like, I can only get a couple of things. I guess you can just wish what you would have on oh, you, right? Oh, okay. I yeah. guess at that point. It's yeah. All... I think this is this is the question, actually. So what <laughs> like, what would you wish you could have? Oh, okay. Probably a lighter. Like with unlimited fuel. With unlimited fuel. Mm-hmm. So yeah, a lighter with unlimited fuel. <laughs> and... Not you, sorry. <laughs> and... <laughs> Probably we'd be together, like, getting stranded. Yeah, <laughs> we knows? probably did something stupid, which is yeah. why we got stranded yeah, in the first place. That's yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. cruise, and then after that, got stranded. <laughs> what the fuck? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> um, so if, I, if we ever go on a cruise together, we have one bag prepared. where we have to bring. It has to be waterproof. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things I said. Oh, waterproof, a dry bag. Dry bag. Um, a lighter with unlimited fuel mm-hmm. and a knife. So I want it to be like a double edge kind of knife kind of okay. looking thing. So it's like one side kind of looks like a knife. So it's almost like a spear, but not. And the other one looks like an axe or like mm-hmm. a hammery looking thing. Like a tiny one or like yeah, a- like the axe head, but then like a bigger one mm-hmm. connected to like the other side is like a knife-ish kind. Okay. Oh, you know what? No dry bag, just the, the lighter unlimited fuel rope and that knife thing that i said what about you me i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna bring a solar powered boat okay well then we wouldn't (laughs) be stranded anymore yeah that's why (laughs) i mean i could be stranded and just be like oh i wish i had a solar powered boat that's what i wish i would have but then yeah that (laughs) also a multi-tool just like your half axe half um knife thing spear whatever probably like a something better than a swiss knife and maybe uh you know those life straws i've seen an ad for this before it's like a straw that you put into dirty water or mm, to like p- yeah, filter and purify, purify water, it yeah. so you can drink okay. any kind of water or like a desalinating one mm, okay so you yeah. can drink like um salt water mm-hmm. but it's not salt water anymore so something like that wait summary three things are uh, the boat is so out there that's uh, okay <sighs> Come on. How about like a... That's like asking a genie for like three one wishes. million wishes. Three more wishes? No, that's like asking a genie for like unlimited right. wishes. Yeah. You can't do that. I mean, sure. I know I did unlimited fire, but that's... Come on. I mean, sorry. Fuel. Unlimited light. See, everything in my head is just fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, do? this is what I was talking about. Like, you still have those things that you yeah. know, kind of remind you of it. And whatever. But anyway, yeah. Unlimited fluid. <laughs> that doesn't count. That's okay, you know. Fine. But you can't ask for like... A speedboat or a jet ski or a teleportation rap. device. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that you can't do that. Okay. That's not allowed. Fine. So multi tool. <laughs> okay, th- that's fine. That's the fine. The life straw. I'm taking it seriously. Fucking take it seriously. And what else? <gasps> oh, you know what I saw recently? What? Apparently, it's really good to bring a blade around. Mm-hmm. Or is it a blade? Oh no. Like a sharpener, like a metal aluminum sharpener. Mm, okay. Because apparently, if you um, shave off the aluminum, oh, fire it starter. Ignite, yeah, it's a ah. fire starter. So I would bring that so that me and you could start oh, a fire. Oh, so we're trying it together. Yes, ah, that's okay. what I said. Okay, because I was really questioning, like, really? Those are, that's what you're going to bring? If you're going to have a lighter, I'm going to have something oh, okay. to, you know. That works, yeah. I didn't know that the situation was that we were both stranded. I guess I just assumed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why when you were saying, I was like, really? You're not even going to bring like a, you know, like a bigger knife? <laughs> just a multi-tool? You have the knife. I yeah. have the multi-tool. All right. Yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Cool. True, true, true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we could survive. Yeah. I th- Elbows. Anyway. Yeah. I think we could really survive um, being Probably. deserted on yeah. an Yeah. Oh my God. Plus, we could so build like, we're so, we could, we're so able, like... Oh my god, Explain. I just, You're so sure. I want to know. Like, okay, we could so definitely build a shelter until we get help, right? Definitely. Because Dude. remember when we built your, <laughs> squash, your court. squash court? Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, we built yeah. your squash court together. 
I mean, yeah, yeah I, I helped try. out. I did, I did most days. of the like, work, because it's mine, so yeah. obviously. Yeah, I <laughs> hammered some shit. <laughs> yeah, you did. You fucking hammered some shit and painted. And painted shit. and measured. And measured, yeah. Yeah. Measured a lot. Lifted. Lift. I was yeah. just going to say, we lifted all the wooden <laughs> frames and everything. Yeah, it was pretty Dude, That was heavy. Dude, that actually. That was heavy. But we did it. No, we did. We, we did, did that shit. Anyways. Yeah. We so survived. Like, both you and I are capable of, like, building. Yeah. I believe that, too. Yeah. Let's take it, like, a like a step further. Because, all right, let's go from the situation as, was the island, but now the situation is, boom, a zombie apocalypse just hit. <gasps> On the island or just a different, no. completely different? <laughs> no, because you were like, and then boom. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, because <laughs> like. Wouldn't be so crazy if you were stranded and then a zombie apocalypse? Like, where the fuck did oh the my zombies God. come from? Yeah, like, we're all, we're on an island. <gasps> okay, yeah. Unless the island was like Already. some kind of like testing ground experiment of some kind of like radioactive material <gasps> or like a biological anyway but yeah that would be insane yeah. what if it wasn't that we were stranded on an island but a zombie apocalypse happens what is your like thought process in this moment like the first um the first hour that the zombie apocalypse happens sure fuck yeah. where would i be sure. and what would i be doing where would i go you know every time somebody brings up a zombie apocalypse my brain goes straight to world war z because that was probably the most realistic zombie movie I've seen. Super terrifying. Absolutely like, terrifying. The zombies were so fast mm -hmm. and like fucking bionic. I don't know. Like they were ugh, ugh. like superhuman. Yeah. I yeah. think I've seen that movie like maybe 10 times. Yeah, I've seen a life. bunch of yeah. times too. Yeah. It's one of those zombie movies that you always go back to. But anyway, going back to <laughs> what I would do. Well, first of all, gather supplies. Mm. But I don't want to be stuck in a supermarket where right. everybody is going to because everybody's gonna flock mm -hmm. to a supermarket my answer before would be try to take over the supermarket but then that's <laughs> so hard like i was imagining snr because it's okay. like a giant yeah block how many entrances and exits does it really have so i was thinking that but then everybody would go there yeah so true. I've changed my mind. I'm like not... how every zombie movie starts. Exactly. And then like an World outbreak Wars always happens in the supermarket. Supermarket, yeah. Well, like a big superstore or two. Mm -hmm. What would your preference for a base be? By the ocean, by the mountains, or kind of just in the city? Mm, by the ocean. That's what I thought of first. Because by the ocean, because at least I'm still in the middle. If I need um, to replenish my whatever i can go in the city make like a trip mm. and then come back if i need to leave because things are going to shit i could also take, take a boat bo yeah. or something go somewhere in the ocean so yeah by the water okay um weapon of choice then zombie apocalypse hmm. so if i have guns when it shoots or like when it makes a sound other zombies can hear and like they'll flock to me right yeah so probably not a gun okay <laughs> A machete. A machete, okay. Or, okay. Or like, wouldn't it be so cool to have like two swords? Oh, yeah, like Michonne in The Walking yeah. Dead. Like a samurai sword? Yeah. Like slicing I through think, zombies? I think two samurai swords would be awesome. Oof, definitely. So that would be my definitely weapon of choice. Okay, okay. Or, yeah, or like um, bow and arrow. <laughs> like Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at yours. So I was also thinking like, it's nice for, you know, like long range. Mm -hmm. So... You know what's so funny? What, uh, sorry. I was going to ask you what you would do or what you would pick. Um, okay, first, I yeah, I would also have a base by the water as well. By the water too? Because oh, wow. it makes the most sense. For And then if like I run out of food, then I could always just fish, right? Yeah. Weapon of choice, definitely some kind of half... Um, <laughs> you and your half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would definitely be like a half spear, a half axe still. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, because useful in all situations. Yeah. Okay, I get it. What would your vehicle of choice be? Ooh, like your transportation? That's hard. I've never thought of it really. I would want probably like a... Anything. Not even just on the road. Like anything. But then like how will I get food? <laughs> Please don't say like a hippogriff or something. <laughs> <laughs> a unicorn. Please. Because <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I mean, if I could wish. Then, yeah. uh, hippogriff is cool. <laughs> Not a motorcycle, obviously. But you could get away quick and go into tight areas. Um, would I die? Motorcycle. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, you? I've completely thought about this part. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you have. I, I'm not even gonna. Okay, go. A solar-powered electric bicycle. 
Oh, okay. Because so if, pretty similar, but yeah, I like yours. If I don't want zombies to hear me, I'll just puddle. Mm-hmm. But then if I do need a quick getaway and like I'm overrun by like zombies or a horde of zombies, so at least I have like the option. That's true. That's really that's smart. Oh, actually. and solar powered, so that I don't have to charge it anywhere. Oh, but then you know what? what? Another thing would be if the wheels were like an off-road kind of like wheel mm-hmm. like on a dirt bike so that if i had to go into like the a forest woods, not like there are forests in Cebu- I there are. Cebu, I guess. but then like how far would you go forest. Or, or, Asha. <laughs> <laughs> you really had to go there yeah the forest. <laughs> i'd like to be far but then also where would i go for my supplies i'd have to travel pretty far on a supply run if i lived kind of far from the city yeah in your motorcycle yeah it would take me like what two three hours going probably even longer where the hell are you trying to make your base like Uh, in i don't know like somewhere somewhere in the province because there would be less people like less zombies to kill that's definitely less infected right true because if you're in the city they're all here but yeah anyway somewhere cliffy i think with access to a beach or like a nice Mm. not a not necessarily nice but then like a (laughs) Like uh, somewhere I can like put my boat anyway. Mine would wouldn't be like that far. It'd probably be like like a city dock or something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but then yeah, my whole purpose was to not come into contact with a lot of the zombies. Right in yeah. a highly populated area too. Yeah. yeah. But then how much of the? Uh, never mind. I'm <laughs> my brain is just going on and on. Go. Like how much of them really will be left after the first like how few much of weeks? What? Infected or zombies? Yeah. A lot, but no. Yeah. I probably would, yeah sorry my brain is just going like yeah. <laughs> different situations in my head you know that's actually the reason okay this is so funny and it's so stupid what but one of the okay it's not really the reason but one of the reasons why i got a <laughs> bow and arrow <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up really <laughs> it was what i thought you know like one day just you'd probably case. need it I know it sounds so silly. I mean, it's not silly because but that just was also in case you know that was in my roster of like ideas of what I could have as a weapon. So it's not stupid. It's stupid to think like to be thinking about if a zombie apocalypse were to happen. I, that's not the main reason why. I, oh, no. uh, of course, Bo- <laughs> of course not. But you know, still useful. I mean, you have it right there too, so yeah. it's like accessible. Yeah, except I gotta like string it every time I use that's it. That's true. Yeah, that's. So you don't want to leave it like strong. Don't leave your bow bow strong, people. Yeah, because a lot of you have <laughs> bows and arrows. <laughs> I mean, for those don't who... leave it strong. Well, <laughs> well, at least we've established that we could survive. Yeah. In um, on a stranded, <laughs> stranded on an island. <laughs> on a stranded <laughs> island. <laughs> yeah, so we would survive stranded on an island yeah. and probably a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be near each other because you'd be in the city and I'm all the way somewhere on a cliff. Dude, we can get like walkie-talkies. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Ooh, radio is too, like the crank radio. The, oh, like, satellites. Uh, you are here again with the crank. <laughs> We've been talking about this since before the podcast. Guys, like about I'm crank... Gonna- flashlights and yeah, because, crank radios yo because you okay makes sense no you're you're laughing at me but it's legit okay. i'm just laughing at this whole thing think about it a flashlight what are you gonna be charging the battery all the time what are you gonna be replacing the battery like like you just crank it right so mm-hmm. they even have the little like you know these ones too jack in the box no fuck <laughs> yeah. the flashlights but it's yeah super good and useful i yeah. think yeah, I would have that yeah. definitely in my, you know, my list of things to have mm. in a zombie apocalypse. I would definitely have a solar powered house, though, for sure. Like with a backup, I mean, like a battery that, you know, takes you know, in all of the. I also started looking at um like solar powered, like big, like power banks or like generators. Of oh, sorts. yeah. And I was like, oh, too expensive for my paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to look at it, I guess. Yeah, but I was like, oh, no, 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 not necessary. Not yeah, necessary. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, not for right now. <laughs> it's just, you know, things that you, on your wish yeah. list for your doomsday. My friend is now a doomsday prepper. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I loved yeah. that show before. I'm, doomsday prepper. I don't think I've ever seen it. Really? It was pretty, I mean, if I would flick through the channels and I'd see it, I'd watch it. My dad and my brother would watch it all the time. So if they're watching it, I'm just there like, interesting, cool. 
and they're both like very mechanical people mm. they love their computers and taking things apart and stuff like that so i'm just also there like it's kind of rubbing off on me a little oh yeah. i like I, I like that they're like that they are they love to take things apart and put it together and um everything that's broken that i've had they've fixed so pretty grateful thank you guys when i was a kid Shut i up. used to um open our telephones really yeah what like, would you do i just wanted to see how it was happening uh, like how it would work yeah but then i always tried to like put it back when i was a kid but it was so hard because obviously i was a kid and obviously I was, which is why when i got to the point where i could like replace my iphone screen and all that shit myself i was just like yeah. <laughs> I, like I can't believe you did that by the way like that's i was proud i was so proud i was like wow yeah. i did it Oh, but okay, so the fire, that was the reason why um, episode six got delayed. Yeah, <laughs> that was the personal um, circumstance mm -hmm. that was happening. Because so. yeah, the editor was um, evacuated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Away from her house mm -hmm. in my desk. and At least now you know what we would do in those types of situations. Maybe you could tell us what you guys would do. And that's a wrap for episode seven. Catch us next Wednesdays, 4.30 p.m., I promise this time, 4.30 p.m. <laughs> she does. She, she promises. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's it for us. We'll catch you on the next one. And for those of you who don't know, we're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, but we'll always be on YouTube for fucking ever and always. <laughs> as long as you'll have us and as long as we'll do it, I guess. Yeah. And again, I'm Anne. I'm Tracy. And this is Beyond the Plot. Oh, oh God. for the first time, it's not so hot. Yeah, actually, no. <laughs>